folks, the old fisherman back with you. I'm in my family room in front of the fireplace. Hey, nice and warm here, but it was cold on the lake today. Uh, went out and done a uh, little bit of casting around right at the boat dock and uh, caught a few yellow perch, done a little clip on catching a couple of yellow perch and kind of showed you how I was doing it. And then we went out and caught some white perch, had a great day, but I got to show y'all, hey, you see I'm wearing the You Got to Love It uh, shirt, the old fisherman t-shirts, and on the back, uh, on, the, on the garnet for Carolina Gamecock colors, and it says drop it to the bottom with a big boy's lie, and it's got a flutter spoon and a striper uh, on the back, and it's got You Got to Love It at the bottom of that, and, and this is the Clemson color one right here. Hey, you got to love it. Hey, you better get your shirts. We got them priced at a good price, and I know they're going to go fast for you. So order your shirts. Uh, go to stevecomelander.com and uh, look at what we got on our store. We got a lot of good stuff on there. Miss Deborah's got some new uh, aprons on there with pockets. I know some people like pockets and aprons. Hey, go to the store, but go fishing with me today. We went to Lake Murray and caught them a couple white, uh, yellow perch, and then we went out and caught some white perch. Hey, had a great time. And uh, hey, thanks to all of my fans out there that watch the old fisherman videos. Appreciate each and every one of you. And uh, hey, Make sure you get your shirt. Thanks for watching. Let's go fishing. Hey folks, the old fisherman back with you. Uh, we're gonna try to catch some doggone yellow perch today. I cast right here at the ramp, and I'm gonna show you the first one of the day. First one of the day, look at that size of that yellow perch. That's a good one, ain't it? Pretty, ain't it? That's a pretty fish. What? Uh, I got a little uh, 16, actually a 30 second head. A little tiny here right now. I can't cast it for his own thing. And boy, he stuck it too. I can't even get him out. But uh, we got a Bass Assassin electric chicken jig on. I don't think it makes a difference what color. Doggone, I'm gonna have to get my needle nose to get him out. Y'all bear with me. Just pushed off at the dock, and uh, we're gonna try to do some doggone uh, yellow perch fishing today. Look at that. Throw him in there, because I'll tell you what, there ain't nothing no better eating than that right there. I don't know if this little electric chicken, never have used it before. Uh, don't know if it's the one to be using or not. I'm gonna bit my hook all up. But uh, hey, we're gonna target some doggone yellow perch today. I could be catching a bunch of white perch, I'm sure. But they got folks out there that wants me to do a yellow perch video. I done one once before across the lake, and we're gonna, we gonna move from cove to cove and try to find us some today. On Lake Murray, the yellow perch are in the ditches. Uh, boy, I tell you what, he bent my hook all up. But they're in the ditches, and they're getting ready to spawn early. They always spawn before crappers. And, uh, hey, we're going to use the uh, Bass Assassin right now. I don't know if that's the right jig. I think they'll hit any kind of little jig, to be honest with you. I don't think, I, I don't know enough about it because I don't do it that much. All I know is I've caught them on little jigs. And we're going to just cast. Uh, we got six-pound test. I'd like to have two-pound test, but I ain't got no two-pound test. I might have some four, but I got to look for it. But we're going to try some six-pound tests right now. I got some braid line on that, uh, which is equivalent to two-pound, but I got a little six-pound leader on the end of it. And uh, what you got to do is locate them. Once you get a couple bites, you can catch a few before they spook out. The water's clear. It's early in the morning. See, that was a bite right there. I missed it. Broke my line. Oh, my goodness. We got to start over. Tell you what, let's pick up the bass, uh, the other jig. I don't know what in the world happened there. Broke my line. Let's pick up the big bass uh, assassin jig. The big one. With an eighth ounce head and tip there, here it is. Might not hit it, it's too, too heavy. I'm gonna have to go look for another jig head. There he is, there he is, he got one. There he is. A little bit bigger head. Now that ain't quite as big. 
That ain't quite as big, but he's big enough to eat. Let me tell you, even the little ones are good. That's big enough to eat. You might just use the bass assassin jig. I can uh, kill with the father. I can kill with father. Get back off of him a little bit. We're too close. Oh, what happened to my little jig here? Line broke. I must have crimped it when I took that fish off. Throw it out there, just really holding the rod up because it ain't but about two foot deep out there where I'm catching a little ditch run right there. And they get past, I pushed all the way back up into the little ditch, creek ditches. They'll hit the bigger jig, you work it faster. There you go. There you go. Small ones. Every so often you get a big one. But uh, you're going to chunk him back. There you go. There you go. You're back up there on the turn. A little low. He's not that big. He's big enough to eat. Let me tell you. He's big enough to eat. He's big enough to eat. That first one was a nice one, though. But this near a little, but let me tell you. They, in my day, they called it bony fish. That, that fish ain't that bony. That fish is good eating. That, my friend, is the best eating in this lake, as far as I'm concerned. Go back up there. There you go. He found a little pocket of them. Little, little one. Got to get that big one. Looking for the big one. That's a little one. We're going to throw him back. I can get him off. Are they hitting this little bass fast as you? Really good. Probably getting too close to him now. I'll spook him out. Right in a little pocket right there. Almost on the bank. Water ain't two foot deep right now. About two foot deep. There you go. In a little pocket right there. A little bit better. A little bit better. A little bit better. Ain't a lot better. I'd like to get a lot bigger than that. But anyhow, hey, that's what we're targeting right there. We're going to have us a mess with yellow curtain today. Around. Hopefully we can get some big ones today though. We ain't got to worry with that little jig. They're hitting this bigger jig. I can test it, but I'll just use the bigger jig. I'm sure as shallow as that water is, we're gonna spook them out here in any minute. We're gonna have to go find us another little spot. Jerk the end of the boat through the net. There's, there's one. There's one. It's far. It's really fun. Hey, these ain't quite the size, and we're looking for a little bit bigger than that, but these here are good eating. That's why I ain't throwing them back, because I'm gonna eat these jokers. I had some the other night, I'm telling you right now. White perch is okay, but compared to yellow perch, they ain't no comparison. And it's hard to eat them together, because uh, you get that sweet taste of this doggone yellow perch. You know, some like that. There's one. There's one. That's a good one. That's the kind we're looking for right now. That's bigger. Look here. 
what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about right here. That size and bigger. The yellow perch. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we're looking for right there. Yellow perch. Can you get them done? Good morning, folks. Hey, the old fisherman back with you again. We uh, went casting for some yellow perch. Uh, couldn't really get that much on video, but I'm going to show you what we caught. We caught a couple. Look at the size of that one. Hey, that's dental right there, buddy. That is dental. But we didn't catch but about eight or ten. They went, you know, had to weed them out. I caught more than that, but I kept about eight or ten. Uh, weed them out. There were a lot of small ones, and we couldn't get a video going. It was... They all the way up on the bank almost, and it's just aggravating the fish for the water's down. Last year the water was up and I could zero in on them uh, creek runs. This year the water is down. There's a perch, and uh, hey, we just had a hard time do. Uh oh, you got all. So I decided I'm coming back out here and try to catch some uh, white perch. Seems like uh, the white perch is is a lot more fun to catch. You you can them there's a lot better to eat. But they're a little scattered out. You get in little pockets, catch two or three, and then they, they spook out in the clear water. But uh, hey, we're back on the white perch. I got a few under me. I don't know how long they're going to stay. I was beating the boat, called some in, believe it. I haven't been beating the boat lately. But I decided they wouldn't have biting, and I started beating the boat, and I started getting a couple bites. So I'm thinking that beating the boat is in 22 foot of water, dingy water. Maybe they'll bring them in. I hadn't been doing it because we've been catching so many. I'm going to beat the boat a little bit there again. And, uh, there's one. Hey, I don't want sizes in here, but there's some in here. We're going to try to catch them. Lake Murray, loving life. That's a nice one. Ain't no jumbo, but he's a nice one. We got a... Uh... Uh-oh. Took my dog on gut metal off. Stole it. Any type of... Well, he just stole my metal. We got to get another gut metal. Or oh, some kind of jig. Let's see what we find here. Yeah, there's one. Got a crooked tail, but I don't think that'll hurt. Put it back on in. Drop it back out. Good friend of mine gave me a bunch of metals, so we got a, a bunch of metals up here uh, to use. If I want to, got a boat coming right straight to me. I mean, coming straight to me. Gonna run me off to me. Run right over. My goodness. Pull this fish on in there, he's gone by. That's a pretty nice perch. Up to the bottom where the big boys lie. Eat the boot. I think we got a few out here. 23 foot of water. Keep them going. Boats get away from him. My goodness, he come close. Oh, they bite me. They in here. I see them stirring up off the bottom. I don't like I see. I don't know what size they are. They, they act like they're little. To be honest with you. They is. They is. Kind of small. Get that gut metal. We're gonna weed them out. <clears throat> beat the boat some more. Seems like when I started beating the boat, it started stirring up a little bit. I don't normally beat the boat in 22 foot of water, I'll be honest with you. Just something new here. Uh, kind of skittish of it. We got color in the water, so maybe it won't hurt. We're gonna 
gonna see. Hey, gotta try it to know. Might run them off. They is, they. Hey, they, they, they biting. All I can say is they bite, and that's a good one, too. That's a good one. What? That's the kind we're looking for right now. That's a Jumbo Super Supreme. Huh? Let's, uh, let's try something. Let's get one of these little tuppy men, huh? And, uh, put him on the hook. Uh, tip this dog on the gump man. See if that helps any, uh, or uh, don't do any, any good. I don't know. Let's try it. I know them crappy boys like to tip them metals, or them jigs. Let's tip the gut metal and see what happens. We got some perks down here. I see them. I see them. There he goes. Hey, that didn't take long. Let's see if he's on the metal. The gut metal tip with a metal. Yep. Gut metal tip with a metal. Hey, what he's on. And uh, he didn't take it neither. We still got our metal. Try it again. Drop back down. Got metal tip with a metal. It's an overcast day. It's Friday. Uh, I spent two hours messing with white perch. I could have been and caught me a tub of fish if I'd have come on perch fishing. I uh, spent two hours trying to make a video on yellow perch, and uh, it just uh, it was too aggravating. Man, I stayed. I almost had to get my trolling motor on the bank to catch them. And they little ditches in two foot of water, a foot of water. <coughs> there are plenty of them there. I've seen them. Uh, but if you want to target them yellow perch, and I try to keep messing with them and try to do a video, but it was really hard. Uh, where I caught them jokers last year on the video, it was like I said, the water was up, and it was a lot better situation. Now the water's down, and it's really hard to uh, get on them jokers to catch them, and then they spook out. And they ain't clear water. That, there's a jumbo. Look at the size of uh, that doggone perch, people. That, my friend, is a, it got him on a gup shrimp. Huh? Got him on a gup shrimp. Look at this sucker. Huh? Look at this sucker. You're talking about nice. Now, that is a nice perch. Look how white looking he looks. Ain't that pretty? Look at that white perch. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. I love catching these suckers. I don't mind telling you. They took my minnow. Oh, let me, let me get me another minnow. We've got a pound of them things. Uh, John Sykes gave me these minnows. A uh, real good friend of mine. He's the one that made the uh, uh, the bumping stick for me. Well, he slipped on his doggone uh, steps with some ice and uh, on them. And he slipped, and uh, he thought he just hurt his arm. But about a couple of days later, or a week or so, his back started giving him trouble. And come to find out, he done messed his daggone back up, so he might have to have back surgery. And he says he ain't gonna be able to use these doggone minnows. And uh, and he give them to me, and I went and got him yesterday from him. Super nice guy, uh, John Sites. Just a good friend. Hey, and we uh we tipping these doggone jigs with his minnow, and they biting them. Let's see if we got the dog. We got that on the gut shrimp. So the minnows. Well, it took the minnow too. The minnow's gone. So I don't know if it's necessary, uh-oh, or not. We, we, we give him something different to try today. We done found another little hole where I wanted to fish. It's a boat sitting there. And he's staying there. That's where I've been catching my fish. He's staying there, so I'm sure. And I see him circling. So I'm sure been watching my video, so whether he picked up where I was at or not, he's sitting on the hole. He's sitting on my honey hole. So we go over to the other side of the cold, uh, hole, the whole lake, really. I can still see it back over there. Uh, we move, and uh, hey, we catching fish over here too, so it's just a matter of uh, taking your time and going slow and getting on the spot. Preferably 20, 22 foot of water right now, I think. You can catch them shallow and you can catch them deeper, I guess. But uh, I'm sitting right here at 22 foot. And uh, at a completely different spot. And I just just pulled up over here and I got the depth of water I wanted. And I seen a few fish. And I stopped. Uh, uh, right on the bottom now. Not, not nothing 
tremendous. And then I beat the boat a little bit. And uh, I believe it called him in. So we're going to continue doing that off and on, beat the boat today. Hadn't been doing it in a while. And I know some of y'all glad of that because it beats up on your sound, makes it loud. But uh, hey, we got a few fish down here. Look at that. We got a few fish down here. We gonna catch them. We gonna catch them. Catch them on the doggone gut shrimp. Hey, some of them's nice, some of them ain't. What can I say? Some of them nice, some of them ain't. But uh, we having a good time. A lot better than casting one right out. I, I, I just cast him for them yellow perch. I, I just couldn't make myself keep doing it. I've got enough for supper though, I can tell you that. I do love eating them jokers. I caught a bunch of little bitty ones. Ever so often you catch a nice one. I never did catch a super dog one. I did, that one I showed you is the biggest one I caught. Uh, I never could catch the big ones. They're bumping that thing. They're plenty of perch down there. They, you can see them when I pull it up. They rise off the bottom like a Christmas tree. They hit me. They hit me. There you. There you. Huh? There he is. I mean, that's a good one. What? That, oh, I got him hooked in the side of the face. That's why. He felt like, oh, he bit my dog go. He bit my gut shrimp off. Let's try something here. We got half of a gut shrimp. Hey, I like to try things. Why not just tip the other half with a metal? Let's tip the other half with a metal. The tail end with a metal. Hey, that ought to work, shouldn't it? So we're going to have a chunk of gut shrimp with no tail on it, with a mud on it. Let's see if we catch one like that. Drop it down there and see. I love experimenting. Hey, that chunk might bring them in that little mud of swimming on the end, making it look like it's swimming. We hooked it, the bottom lip up on that jig. Let's see what happens. See if we can get one. That's already got a bite. Look at that. Oh, he bumped. I don't know. Probably took the minnow off. Now the problem is when I get a bite, I don't know whether the jerk will let him take it because he got a minnow on it. There he is. There he is. There he is. Oh my, there he is. Got him on that doggone half a gut shrimp with a minnow tip. Huh? Ain't nothing but a chunk of gut shrimp. Hey, let's drop it down there without a minnow and see if they'll bite just some chunk. Let's try it out. What? We'll try anything once. Ain't nothing but a chunk of a gut minnow. About half of a gut. I mean, a gut shrimp, orange gut shrimp. Let's drop it down there and see if they'll be hitting that half of a gut shrimp. Look at that, had a bite. He's hitting either gut metal or the gut shrimp, one of the two with no metal on it. I don't have a metal on it. There he is, see what he's on. Hey, we might be catching him on the chunk. I done that in Lake Murray, I mean Lake Monticello. No, no, he's on the gut metal. He's on the gut metal. Yep, no money on it. I, I didn't have it tipped. I just got it. You'll see it. A chunk of doggone gup shrimp orange on the bottom. Tail ain't even on it. And drop it down like that. See if we catch them on that. That's how, you, how, that's how you learn, people. You got to do different things when you got fish under you. That's the key. I got a doggone rabble here. We got a mess. We got a mess with doggone braid line. That ain't good. Uh-oh. That's a knot. That is a knot. We got a problem. We might not get this out. Oh, man. I ain't used to having no problem with this braid like this. This sure got a mess. Hey, bear with me. Doggone it. Ah, I got to get my glasses on. Oh, man. And a hook to kind of pick it out. I'm gonna try to pick it out. We might not get this out. We might have stopped and tie. Don't know. Hey, I believe we might be got it. I believe we might be got it. Why it done that? I don't know why it done that, but it done it. Hey, it done it. Let's see if we can get it all the way out. Here it is. I think we got it. All right. I think we got it. All right. That was simple enough. Could have been worse. That's for sure. Now, let's pull it off the bottom. See if we get a bite. 
They hit. They bumped it. Hey, they down there. Hey, they down there. It's fish down there. We draw back in here. They, they bumped it. We might have to put us a, the whole shrimp back on. Uh-oh, I don't see them now. I might be going to run them off. I got it on spotlight, so we ain't moved. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. See if he's on that little piece of gut shrimp. No, he's on the gut metal. We're going to have to do something with our gut shrimp. I'll put a metal on it. That's a little one. I'll throw it back. Let's put a metal on it. We got metal. Might as well use them. Hey, might as well use them. Put it on that doggone, tip it on that doggone gut shrimp chunk. Ooh, we got a bunch of fish down there now. I'll tell you that, that beat in the boat might be pulling them in here. It might be, even in shallower water. All right, I dropped it back down to the bottom where the big boys lie. Thanks for being with the old fisherman on another episode. Loving life. And boy, we are doing it. What a, it's just so special to be able to go fishing and, and not go to work. I mean, I love it. I don't mind telling you. I love it. All my life I've been waiting for this. Here it is. Uh-oh. I missed it. We got him down there. There he is. There he is. There he is. Hey, he's on the gut metal. I think we need to put a good gut shrimp on there. What I think. Quit messing with that baby, baby shrimp. Piece of shrimp. Let's see if we can find us a good gut shrimp. Ain't got many left. I need to go to the store. I need to call Miss Deborah and tell her to go to the store for me. What I need to do. Alright, I got a little duck shrimp head, ain't much to it. I believe it's good enough to catch one. Let's put it on there. It's been soaking in that gulp of live juice. Soaking in the gup of live juice. Put it to the bottom where the big boys lie. These here are uh, medium size, a few nice ones mixed in. They ain't jumbo super dogs like all of them. Why well, I like to get on, but hey, they some down there. Stopping. He's stopping. Get him on the gut metal. Drop it to the bottom. Whew. Supposed to get really, really cold the next couple days. I think the high on Monday is in the 40s. And the low is 25. It's gonna be cold. It's definitely gonna be cold. I'm thinking we need to circle swing this thing, get it off spot rock, and move it a little bit. That's what I think we need to do. Bear with me. We had something going up a little bit, but we kind of taper off. Hey, there was a bite. That boat's still sitting over there on my honey hole, boy. He gonna milk that joker. He must have found something. Left, he just found the hole too. You know, that's a possibility. That's a nice one. That's a good. I tell you, when I go to move that boat, I catch a bigger fish. Look at that. Huh? That's a good one.
folks, hey, we in a little cove here, a bunch of houses. Uh, we're gonna try to see if I can show you how to catch a couple of yellow perch. And I'm not in the back of the boat. I got a spot lock on, it's holding in them. It, the water's down so much, it probably ain't but a three foot flat back here. And we're gonna cast out and see if we can catch us a yellow perch on camera. Uh, I know it's a weird setup here. I'm fishing out the back of the boat, but we're gonna give it a shot. Chunk it back down the middle of that creek. It's a lot of whole green slimy grass out here. And uh, the problem is the jig might be too heavy and it's getting down that grass. I got to really start reeling it as soon as I throw it out. You can see all this grass that's on here. But hey, we're gonna try that again. I just caught one and I know it's a couple in here. This is where I caught them last year, but it ain't no water back there where I caught them. The lake's down 10 foot. It's giving me a hard time. I can't find a place to catch the yellow perch like I used to. I caught some this morning, and I went and caught some white perch. Now, we back out there. There's one. There's one. They're in the mouth of this little ditch. Uh, we're going to bring him in. I'll show you what he looks like. This is not that big. Let me tell you something. That is some more good eating right there, buddy. Look at that. See that? That's some good eating right there. I love them. That was little, but I'm going to take them because I love them. When I was a kid, they used to say they was bony, but they didn't know what they were, they didn't know what they were talking about because they ain't bony. That's some good eating. What I got to do is start reeling as soon as it hits the water to keep it up. And uh, there he is. See that? What I'm talking about right there. I know I ain't got a good view of this, but uh, we're gonna do it out the back of the boat. I don't know if you can even see the fish coming in or not. They little. There's probably some big ones in there too. I'm gonna throw him back, see that? 